Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna set up my compact Anna binder from Franklin Planner. Now, I do still have some stuff coming. Um, Franklin Planner is sending me the macaroon binder with the Blooms weeklies um, starting in July and some Blooms um, uh, note paper. But so I thought, well, I could wait and take a look at everything that I have and see how I wanna set this up. Or I could just film um, my setup with what I have so far, just to share with you what I'm thinking um, for this, this binder. So this is gonna be an everyday carry. It won't be identical to what I have in here. It's gonna be for on the go for me to um, know what my schedule is for the week, um, like a week at a glance and just a spot for notes and things like that. So what I have, so I made some notes here and I'll just set these aside for now. Um, so I purchased these from Cloth and Paper. So these are the Girl Gang, no, what are they called? Yeah, I think the Girl Gang, yeah, Girl Gang um, dividers tab dividers with the gold font and I got the top tabs because the Anna binder is quite uh, thin this way it's not as wide as the sailor blue and I knew that if I had side um, side uh, tabs that the pen holders would overlap them so I didn't want that so I got the top and they're pink pink's my favorite color and I just absolutely love them they're just so beautiful Okay, so I, th I thought, you know, black and pink is a really good combination, right? I mean, I kind of wish the hardware was black, but what are you gonna, or was uh, gold, but what are you gonna do? So with these Girl Gang dividers, they don't have the traditional uh, labels. So they are the Grind, Socialite, Inspo AF, Girl Gang, Moolah, and Whatevs. So when you go onto the cloth and paper site, and search for these. They give you ideas of what you could use them for. Of course, you can use them for whatever you want. So their ideas is the, the grind would be for your schedules. Socialite, um, they give an idea of it as being for event planning, extracurriculars, travel. Inspo AF would be inspiration, obviously. Health goals, sketches, recipes. Girl gang tab would be networking and contacts. And then moolah finance and then whatevs is the miscellaneous and if you're familiar with the ceo tabs that they have this kind of goes along um, goes in line with that so i have this as a reference i'm going to set that off to the side as i set this up so this very well may change and i've never had an, an everyday carry um so this is going to be a bit of an experiment to see how this will evolve. Okay, so how I'm setting it up by no means will be set in stone. So I will share the updates as, as I go. Now, I've been playing around uh, with this. So I got these, as you would have seen in my unboxing, um, these tabbed dividers and these pocket dividers. Now the tab dividers are quite a bit wider than the cloth and paper inserts. So I will show you. So they're quite a bit wider, which I don't like. I like everything to be uniform. And just to show you an example with the tab, as I close the binder, the tab well, if, I, if the tab was up here, you would see that it would go underneath the pen loop. So I didn't want that. And I intend to use these just as dashboards, not as dividers anyways. So what I did was I trimmed them, the ones that I'm going to be using, so that they were the same size. These I didn't trim, obviously, because I'm just gonna have one at the very back. So I will show you what I mean. So I trimmed them. I took the, I obviously trimmed the tab off and I, and I just trimmed them so they're more narrow so that they 
um, are the same size as the dividers. So that way everything is in line and when I close the binder, nothing sticks out. So that is what I did. Now I love these because they just go so well. I feel like they go really well with the color pink and of course with the color black. So I have six of these picked out to go in the different tabs. This is the pocket divider that I picked out because it is kind of the most neutral and matches um, the tab dividers that I picked out. So that's what I have set um, aside. And then I bought this Boss dashboard from Cloth and Paper. And I love this so much and I've wanted this, but you know, because with Frank or with um, Cloth and Paper, you cannot order their dividers unpunched unless they come in your subscription box. So this is never in the subscription box. So I couldn't really order it for my classic. So knowing that I was getting the compact Franklin planner, I ordered this in personal and I'm so happy to have it. I'm so happy to have it. Like how cool is that? Okay, so let's get started. I have some accessories here. I've got this pouch. Okay, I've got my weeklies from cloth and paper. I figured these are going to, uh, I'm gonna try these out. The Franklin Planner Blooms uh, timed weeklies that are coming will be here hopefully by the end of next week and they start in July. So I figured I'll try these until July and see how I like them. Because they have the times on every single day, there's not much writing room. So we'll see how this goes. They're undated, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about wasting them. I can just use them as I want. Okay, what else do I have here? I have this notepad. So you know, I like everything to be matchy matchy. So I have the notepad for note paper and journaling cards for my business card holders. And then I have my expense envelopes. These were really wide as well, so I trimmed this down, which is why you can see that it's punched where the date is. I don't care about tracking the date. I just know that this is going to be for one month, so it doesn't matter to me what day. Um, so this is just for me to track uh, where I spent the money and how much it was. And then it'll just, the receipts will go in here. So I trimmed that down as well because it was really wide and it just looked funny. Um, it just looked funny. So I'm just gonna play around, see how everything looks. I also have these uh, printables that I got from SM Plans on Etsy and they're so beautiful and they look so lovely in here because they're so perfect for spring, but I'm not sure if I wanna go with these or the Gingham Farm. I'm gonna try both and then you guys let me know what you what you like. And then of course this Sarasa dry pen I got from Cloth and Paper, it is pink and it would be perfect in this binder. Okay, let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put my weeklies in here. Isn't this, isn't this adorable? It's like a miniature planner. I just, I can't get over it. I love this, so this is going in. Or you know what, I might, okay. Not sure yet if I'm going to put this here or on the outside so that the first thing I see when I open my planner are motivational journaling cards. Not sure or if they will go here because if I have clear cards in here, it'll be nice with a pink background. What do you guys think? And then this can go on the outside. Hmm. Just gonna have to play around and see. For now, I'll put that there. Okay. And my first dashboard. I just love these, they're so beautiful. I'm gonna put that there. And then, Socialite, which is like event planning. I'm gonna put best day because that's like planning things, right? 
I'm going to use this. I, I like I like what cloth and paper suggests. I like, not that during COVID we're really planning a whole lot, but it's nice when I'm on the go just to jot down ideas, even if they're like client appreciation events, um, you know, events with family, things like that, whether it be virtual or in person. So that's what that section is going to be for. Inspiration. This is going to be when I'm on the go and ideas come to my mind, such as um, you know, goal setting, um, goals, goals, goal setting, and jot it down. Nothing worse than you have great ideas and you don't have anywhere to write it down. So that's what that's going to be for. The Girl Gang, networking and contacts. I like that. I really like that. So I'm going to put this one there. And then for Moolah, I'm short a divider. I'm short two dividers. I thought I had six. Apparently not. Apparently not. I think I trimmed. Bear with me here. I thought I trimmed down. Okay, yes, I, okay, there we go. So that one's already trimmed down. Just not a fan of the green. So when you flip it over, you see the green. That's the only negative about that one. This one's really beautiful, but again, it's that green. I'm not a fan. And I have no use for an artichoke. Oh, that one could work. Again, we have the green. That's nice. Okay, so we have, these are kind of the only options that are neutral and match the rest of the dividers. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's that green, it drives me nuts. Home sweet home, I guess that could go for, for moolah, right? I guess that one could go for moolah. I love this one too. Although it has like family, home, I guess that could go for moolah too because that's like household expenses, right? We will see. And then what ebbs is your miscellaneous, so that's kind of whatever. And maybe I will just use this and just deal with the green. I mean, these are okay, but oh, I just love that. And then this one's not really speaking to me. Okay, so I'll just set those aside. And then this will go at the very back. Because this is just to hold. It could be like extra receipts or... Um, you know, notes, things like that. Okay, so now for my weeklies, I have this page lifter, uh, not page lifter, page finder. So this goes in line with the, it matches the Gingham Farms, Gingham Farm in uh, dividers. So I like that. So cute. And then... This will go at the very back as well. And that will probably be for stamps, business cards, things like that while I'm on the go. Okay, now, this is moolah, so this is going to go in this section to track what I am spending. And I got these progressive task lists. I mean, I'm gonna put it in here for now. I might use this in place of the page finder every now and then, depending on what I have in here as far as dividers. Okay, so now I have these that I need to um, dress up. Okay, so here's the question. Do I put the notepad in the back and then just tear it off as I need and then put it in the section that it's meant for? So for example, I have, you know, under the inspo category, if I'm, you know, out and about and I have some great ideas for for goals or business or, or whatever the case may be, jot it down and then put it in that section. Or do I rip the pages off and just have a, a few pages in each section? What would you do? It does kind of bulk up the planner, although this isn't going to be as full as my classic. Um, because this doesn't need to 
hold everything for my whole life. It's not a catch-all, it's just for on the go. What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave like this for now, but I'd like to know what you think. What would you do? Would you tear the pages off and put them in? Or just leave it in uh, as a notepad? So I have collected lots of cards from various places. So mainly cloth and paper in my subscription boxes. These ones I recently purchased and these are from Poi and Hun. It says make each day a masterpiece and then this one says love with the white font which I love. I love this one so much. So what I'm thinking is having having one with just that clear aesthetic for the front but only one has the white font. So that's the only thing. Because you can't, I mean, you can see it on the black page lifter, but it is, it kind of, um, you can't really see, right? Do I do that? I kind of like that being the first thing that I see. Or, that, can, that looks kind of nice. And then this can go... Not really a fan of the paper dust. This can go on the outside. What do you think about that? I don't think that's really going to get bent. I may order clear page lifters from Dividers or Us. I'm not sure yet. But um, anyhow, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And then this one here will be more motivational, I think. I do like the idea of putting pictures in here too. Uh, let me see if I have any. But I think I would probably want them to be black and white. I think. And like I have some nice family pictures from previous planner setups. So not sure what do you think would you do black and white or or would you do colored pictures hmm 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 oh, decisions decisions Let's see. I do like these muted tones. I like this. The purpose of the first draft is not to get it right, but to get it written. I love that. Let's see how this looks. Just a great reminder that not everything you know has to be or should be perfect on your first time, right? Your first try. And then I like this, how can I make this challenge the greatest thing that has ever happened to me? I love that. Because life is all about challenges, especially when you're an entrepreneur. So that's a good reminder. Um, the thing is, is that what I run into is because these cards were more taller versus wider. So I trim them to fit in here but they're not as wide as these cards. So if I wanted to put this on the back, then I'll have some overhang, which I don't really like. I don't really like. Make it simple, but significant. That's kind of nice too. But then I don't think I like how they're not, the colors aren't um, matching. That's kind of cool. I love this one, but it's too long. So I guess I could trim it, but oh boy. That's cool too, to make living, it's in, to make living itself an art, that is the goal. That came in my subscription box too. 
So let's say I wanted to put that on the other side. I'll show you what I mean. I think that might be as far as it goes. So you'll just have that overhang. I don't really like that. Is that a big deal? Would that bother you guys? What if I centered it? That might look a little better. And then it doesn't look bad when you flip it over. I like this one. I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse like that. Um, I love this too, but it's purple and I don't have anything else that's purple. This goes with the cloth and paper aesthetic. know I ordered some I think I'd have to check back on my order but I ordered some stuff from Elamon Paper Co and I think I may have ordered some journaling cards so if I did I'm pretty sure I did but I don't 100% remember um I'll, I'll switch these out is that a big deal would that bother you it kind of looks sloppy I feel like it looks sloppy Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this, so I'm probably not going to put a second one in for now. I'm going to give that some time. I could, I have more of these cards that I get with, subscri with uh, my subscription boxes and then my, my recent Poi and Hun order. I got this one, which is really pretty. So these are all the ones that I got from Cloth and Paper. These are the thank you cards. Oh, this is one from Poi and Hun as well. And then these are all cloth and paper. So I suppose I could cut them up, right? Like I did that one, because that was the thank you card as well. And that would look nice. I just, I love this aesthetic. I love this one. I wish they made this. I wish we would get this in our, our um, subscription box. I would love that divider. Okay. Yeah, out of all of these, that's this one here. So that's what it looks like before I trimmed it down. I'm thinking I could do this one. This one would be a good one because it's 2021. So what I do is I just trace or I'll grab a clear one because with the clear ones, I can see through and then I know exactly where I'm trimming. I mean, what else am I going to do with the thank you cards, right? Does that look good crooked or should I do it straight? Oh, gosh. I wish you could talk to me and give me your two cents. Would that look better like that? And then when I put it in, it's straight. It's not on an angle. It might because that, well, that one's kind of on an angle what to do what to do so if I do it this way I think I'm gonna do it straight oh, it looks cool on an angle see if I do it on an angle then I can get some of the spiral but if I do it this way I don't that could be cool too because it's just you know 2021 yeah my gut's kind of telling me to go straight so but then by doing that, then I have more room on top than I do underneath because it ends here and I can't, I can't cut it off, right? Do you see my dilemma? So it might make more sense to go this way. If only I had more than one of these. <laughs> um, so this at least gives me a little bit of an idea. I'm doing it straight. Stick with my first my first idea, my first kind of gut feeling. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. 
I need to take this one out because it's too bold. So now my options are I could do something with this. I like that it says positive vibes only. That's kind of cool. Not really a fan of this one. I've already done that one. I have the Poyan Hun, but they're more purple, so they don't really go with the aesthetic. So that leaves me with this one here. But I, like, how would you, like, would you do that? I suppose you could. I don't know, I'm not really feeling that. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like it has a purpley tone to it, doesn't it? Let's see. Purpley pink next to this. Hmm. All right, positive vibes only. You know, this will do for now. And once I get my other, I have one or two journaling cards, I can't really remember, from Elamon Paper Co. And then we'll, we'll add those in. This is cool too, but it, now it's too, it's too short. But I'll keep it just in case, you, you never know. You never know. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put these away. I got these pouches off of Amazon. If you're interested, you can, I'll link it below where I found them. Okay, so yeah, I like that. Okay, now, clear one. Oh, I'm going to put it away. I sure did. Where did I put it? No, no, maybe I didn't put it away. I thought I did. It's a task card. How could I have lost it? I'm like, right here did you guys see where it went it's the one that's clear and says love with white font where oh where did it go all right well i'm sure i'll find it it will turn up so when it does turn up it'll be in here and I'm gonna put it there. And this will go on the outside. This could go here. Hmm. We will see. This was a freebie in my latest plan hunt order, spring cleaning. So I thought oh, that was cute and that could that looks good in the pocket because it doesn't cover up all, like it doesn't cover up the title. So I kind of like that. And as far as what will go in here, I mean, that could work. I was thinking of putting my business card in there, but I'll probably put them in the um, zipper pouch at the back. Let's see. That just might be it for now. That might be it for now. Neutral, kind of monochromatic. <laughs> 
I like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little flip. Put the pen in. I love that the Franklin Planner binders have the elastic, um, the elastic on the other side of the pen loop, so you can fit um, bigger pens in there. So this is how it looks with inserts in it. The top view, side view. I like that it's not rubbing on any tabs on the side. Love that. Okay, open it up. Monochromatic. I don't know if I have any business cards uh, up here. So, I'm not sure if I'll put anything in the pocket. Maybe the stickers that I'm using for the week. Uh, the zipper I don't really use. So we'll see if I use these pouches. So here's the first dashboard. And we have these cards. I like it. Page lifter. This will look better once that card is in there when I find it. And now we have the Gingham Farm dividers. So let me know what you guys think because I will be taking them out and I'll do another flip with the flowers. So my weeklies, undated weeklies from cloth and paper. Got my page finder to mark the page that I'm on. Progressive task list. Okay, and then my next section is social light, which I'll be using for for event planning but more for you know when I'm planning things with friends or ideas to do for family dates and friend dates client appreciation events uh, girl gang oh no inspo sorry is the next section and that will be just goals that I think of when I'm on the go things I want to in implement in my in my life in my business and then the girl gang section will be for networking, contacts. Okay, and then the moolah, that is going to be for finances on the go. And then the miscellaneous, not really sure what I'm gonna do in here. Probably just lists from other things that aren't in the other tabs. Um, my pocket holder, pocket holder, pocket divider um, for extra things. And then my zipper pouch and notepad. So that's what I have so far. I like the black and the pink. So now let's take out these dividers and see what you think of these. Look how beautiful these are. This one is my absolute favorite. Oh, so pretty and so perfect for spring, right? Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. So now what do you think of these flowered, watercolor flower dividers? I mean, so pretty, right? And they look so good with the pink. But do they look good with the page lifter and the other Kind of monochromatic looks. I don't know. I don't know. So pretty. But then this is kind of doesn't match. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I look forward to your comments on what you think I should do. And let me know if you have any questions. That's it. I'm going to wrap this up. And I'm probably going to still, you know, can, it's going to be ever evolving. And I'm still going to um, play around with it and try different things and uh, see, you know, to do, you know, play around with it until I'm happy with it. And I'm 100% and I have that planner piece with my everyday carry. So if you have an everyday carry, let me know what kinds of things you put in it. Um, yeah, I'd like some ideas. I would like some ideas. I think until I start carrying it with me, I'm not probably not really gonna know 
what I'll, I will use it for until I start carrying it around with me. So that's what I'm going to do starting tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the support for 15% off Franklin Planner items. Use my code buy, sell, plan. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.